Yeah. Yo, what's up, Date? Hey, what's up, G Money? Hey, did you talk to the Blaze about getting a new editor? I did. They said no, but they gave me this super cool skull. How's that gonna help the show? It's not, but it's gonna look pretty cool in the lobby and it's expensive. I mean, that's true. So. Yeah. Huh. Feeling less funny. I, I have this need to hurt myself. The urge to interrupt is increasing. What am I? I just want to destroy my body. What? I think I'm in your body. Are you in mine? Did we soul swap? I don't know how I feel about that, though. Yeah, dude, I gotta tell you, I don't like this at all. Look, I don't want to be in this body. I feel very unfunny and... Uh... Oh, yeah, I can see why. Like, yeah, I'm Dave. I'm from Detroit. I've been arrested 13 times, but I can't handle drugs. Uh, I do the same thing. Look at me. I'm quarter black. I'm 75% white nerd. I like to play video games and podcast every day, and I have 26 kids. Seriously, you're a fat comedian. You're fat. You're fat. Fat. You're fatter. Fat. 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 Look. Fat. I feel 25% taller, and I don't feel like it, it suits me, and I gotta pee, so I'm gonna go pee. We wouldn't, no, don't pee. Dude, don't pee in my body, bro. Don't pee in my body. I'm running the body right now. Somewhere. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it all day. I don't know how you live like this. This is... Do you ju are you just in the bathroom most of the time? Do you not take care of your hemorrhoids? No. Why? Is that why you got pink eye? I don't have health care, dude. I just let them dangle like cherries. Just, just give me the skull. Just... Whoa. I think I'm Angela. I think I'm Angela, too. Wanna make out? Bro. Okay. <laughs> cool! This isn't even gay or anything! Oh, oh, we're us again! Oh, God! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Normal World. My name's Garrett, and sitting next to me is Matt McClowry. How are you doing? Howdy. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you being in that chair. Sometimes when that chair is empty, it makes me feel nervous. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you're in it makes me feel better. Mm. It's the first time I've ever heard I made somebody more comfortable. <laughs> well, that's true. Also, today, we have a great guest, Sarah Gonzalez. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me back. You walk like 10 feet from your set to our set. I, yes, I know we are neighbors. Yeah, we are neighbors. Are we a little loud sometimes? Um, you're a little loud. You're you make me a little uncomfortable. Um, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad that, I, that I can do that. I that I'm used to. You're used to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can deal with that. And in studio, Angela. Hi. Don't. Yay. Please don't, dude. It's in the what the fuck it's is the this? I didn't get clapping, and Angela got clapping. That's really dumb. <laughs> Should we do a standing ovation too? I mean, uh, I don't think the cameras could catch it. I, I don't no. want to show the camera that, no, no. that angle. Also, we got a lot of, we're packed in here. We also have a special guest. Ooh. Ew. Very special guest. The host of this show. <laughs> Lando. <laughs> oh. David. Where are you, David? Hello. Uh, I'm at a, a fat camp. <laughs> they don't call it that anymore. That's, what yeah, do they call it it's now? Called, uh, they call it a less delicious camp. Uh. <laughs> Less delish. Why didn't I get an invite yeah. to this camp? <laughs> um, you're doing good with weight loss. I'm not doing mm. as good, so the Blaze sent me here. I also... <laughs> they just feel that I need to drop a couple more LBs to be more photogenic for the camera. I see. And, They're so uh, caught in the past. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, you know, it is what it is. And so far, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I've had a couple people sneak me some snacks. <laughs> and... <laughs> And, some cheeseburgers. Uh, 
Yeah, I've had a couple. Uh, I don't want to lie. Sneaky, Johnny sneaky. Rockets. Yeah, people yeah. always <laughs> enable celebrities. That's how it works. <laughs> like, do. like two more drinks, you can do it. And yeah. it's true. Once I've told them I was a celebrity and showed them six or seven videos to confirm it, they have totally... <laughs> After the totally, explanation. Yeah, they kind of buy it, and then I have to tip them. <laughs> well, I'm uh, glad you're here. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Food is my drug. Yes, thank you for having me. <laughs> well, all the other drugs were your drug before. <laughs> yeah. You've got to have something. <laughs> Once you cross them off. <laughs> I have like a dark passenger. You know, like Dexter, he sits in the back of a seat and he's like, you got to kill people. But mine's like, you got to eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> I have to repress that person. Yeah. No, I, well, you had me at I have to kill people. I have that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too relatable. <laughs> yeah, mine's you have to kill people, but it's just myself. <laughs> <laughs> you have to kill. One person. When Matt says that, I'm like, I think you bought he's it, yeah. joking, but I'm not <laughs> totally sure. <laughs> I'm not Jerry's sure. That. That's where we're all at. <laughs> Just kind of a lot like Dexter. Now that he's had a kid, he's still murdering people. <laughs> <laughs> Today on the internet, TikTok trend. Uh, so parents are smacking eggs under their kids' faces when they're like, they're like, oh, look, we're going to make a cake. And then they smash an egg on their face. Let's play that video. Oh. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> you okay? No. Ready? Yeah. Now, is this too much? Is the question. Two? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I, like did, I did like that. That was cute. So there's a lot of this. This trend is kind of controversial. Some mm -hmm. people are saying this is too much. This is child abuse. And people are other people are like, your kids are too soft. I have an opinion on this. I have 18 kids. <laughs> Sarah, you don't have that many kids. Don't. But you do have some kids. I do. Dave, you have kids. Matt, you have kids. Yeah. We all have kids here. Yes. Angela, you also have one. We are all parents. We, we are all parents. We have opinions. I want to hear Sarah's first. I mean, I don't think it's abusive, but I also don't think that it's right. I, th I think it's kind of gross. I do. I, I think that you should make your kids tough. I don't, but I think that there's a way in which you can do that, that you're not cracking eggs on them or physically hurting them for TikTok likes and comments and views. And I think that's my main problem with it is like, it's not like you're actually trying to bond with your child and you're like jumping out and scaring them and yeah. you share this moment together. This is purely done for other people's pleasure at your child crying. And I just think that that's really gross. A little slimy. Yeah, I just think it's gross. I mean, again, I don't think it's abusive, but I don't think it's kind. I also have an opinion yeah, kind of close to that, but I want to hear Dave's. Yeah, it's really you should just push them out of the chair, and it's equally <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, Throw them yeah, off a tall it's building. Disgusting. Yeah, I just – the thing is, is the kid's there because it trusts – the child trusts you and loves you, yeah. especially at that age. Yep. Like, that's not an age where your kid needs to toughen up. Right. It's basically an infant. It's not like <laughs> you better get used to life being like this, your mom turning on you and hurting you for no reason. Right. Like, you think it really hurts, you're not though? A good, the, yeah. I, even if it really hurts, I don't think that's you being a good parent right. because no, but if you it are just trying to get likes. If it doesn't, <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's you an being... It's, well, you I, just I, learned I your mother's an asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. you <know? laughs> and that hurts. willing to subject you to... It does hurt. Shame. Yeah. My thing is, I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. It's not child abuse. It, you're not hurting the kid. Also, if you have that kind of relationship with your kid, like, I could totally do this to my son, and I will. Who is how old? He's he's uh, 13. I think that's different than these toddlers. Yeah, True. I also 13. have I also have yeah. little daughters. Uh, I will also do that to them as well because we have that kind of relationship. Like they, we mess around with, with each other. It wouldn't be recorded. I think that like with you, you made a good point on that. Yeah. It's the recording of it and setting it all up so you can get like likes and mm -hmm. shares. That's what makes it slimy. Other than that, you can smash an egg on your kid's face. That's fine. What if you yeah, give them? As long as that's the kind of kid, because every kid is different, and you know some kids will take it and be like, "You abuse me," and it messes with their brain. Yeah. And the other kid will smash no, an egg on you. If your kid's thirteen, you can let them drive a car occasionally. You know what I mean? Like that's, how, <laughs> that's how my dad was with me. I just mean when, like, the last kid there was baby, what a year. Right. A year and a yeah. half. I mean, I think that that's a startling kind of crappy thing to do, but I'm with you. I mean, yeah, my son and I, it's a different story. My son treats me, you know, like I'm Peter Sellers and the Pink Panther and will come out of nowhere and attack me. That's, a, that's <laughs> yes. different when he's eight. 
But I mean, if you're a child, like you're a little kid, like, a, um, you know, under the age of four, I think that's kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. There was a longer clip, too, where there was a girl. I mean, who... Matt has a baby. Yeah, I Sorry. would give my daughter an egg and see if she would do it to herself, because I think she would. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's not you. Yeah, yeah no, that's not me. Them. Oh, but I'm a I'm 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 a father and desperate for clicks, and that still set off red flags to me. <laughs> like, you know, too far. Yeah. I, and I feel so, Angela. You asked, do you, like does that actually hurt? I feel like it could. Like the egg totally. when it cracks, I feel like it could if it's sharp. I mean, sometimes depending an on egg an angle, right? Sharp, right? Well, and not even yeah. like the physical pain of it, but I could see how it could be an emotional pain. Where it's, it's humiliating. Like, this is, yeah, yeah. And I think. See, here's the thing. I feel like it's the intent. It is the intent because I think that yeah. with my daughter, I intend to have a very good like comedy relationship with her. Yeah. Anyway. You know what I'm sure. saying? And, and just like you were saying, but I wouldn't um, <laughs> put it out there for likes yeah. and clicks, just like you're saying, because that is like a very embarrassing place to be. Like you're the joke. Right. You know, I'm, like, right. yeah. like I think the, the, the act itself, the line would be, the line would be, <laughs> you have your kid there, you're about to crack an egg and instead you crack it on their oh. head and you go, Oh, ah, we're, yeah. we're messing Whoopsies. around. Or it's like crack the egg. <laughs> ha, you loser. Look at you. I like, you know, like that's the intent yeah. of how you're doing it and how you're presenting it. Right. Yeah. Don't mess your kid up. Yeah. I mean, if they're, if they are so small that they don't understand the joke. Right. Right. right like I, that's, this is something that I'm constantly telling my 11 year old is like, you can't joke with your brother about something that he doesn't understand at three. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, it, it's the same thing for parents is like, if they don't understand the joke and they can't process it and they just think that you've completely betrayed them. And like, why did you just hit them in the head for no reason? I just don't think that that's good parenting. I will say but, like when I was a kid, I was, I was pushing around a cart, like a shopping cart, a little kid one. Were you and homeless? What? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Sorry. <laughs> no. I was pushing it, right? And I was like running through the living room. And then my aunt put her foot Your out. Your mobile home. And tripped me. Aww. Oh, it wasn't a mobile home. Tripped me. And I, I crashed and fell. And then I looked up. And she was laughing in my face. Scarred. That yeah. Jody, I'm looking at you, Jody. Look at you now. You're doing all right. Look at me now. Everybody's laughing, my very... laughing at me now. Very elderly aunt slipped on ice in a driveway, and I laughed and pointed at her. <laughs> and I was like five, and everyone was the like, "What is wrong reversed. with you?" I'm like, "It's hysterical." What do People you mean? People falling on ice. It's funny. It's really funny. Do you guys think it's that the it's like a power yeah. dynamic thing? You know that Jimmy Kimmel thing where they like take the the candy from the kids. That do you I think like, that's funny, or do you not? I don't think like if that. they if they well, take it's on away, Kimmel, so no. <laughs> <laughs> they take away the candy and then give it back to him, and it's like, oh, we were just joking for a little bit. If they're like so discombobulated by not having candy, maybe that's a different problem you have. Yeah, I, I agree with that. that. Yeah, I agree uh, with that. Uh, but then don't like actually take the candy and eat it because that's really messed up. But it also, yeah, take also their work. don't let your child eat it because it's processed toxic crap. That's a good crap. point too. <laughs> you think, like you, you actually the, would be doing them a favor. Are you the house that gives out like... I am Protein all natural. Bars. Yeah, all yeah. Natural. all natural. <laughs> don't go to don't go to Sarah's house. Don't go to my house. <laughs> She's giving you pencils so you're the and house stuff. that the kids throw the candy back at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's me. I'm like, there's just a TikTok apple. trend of people cracking eggs on your house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> toilet papering it. Yep, that's me. Screw Throwing that. your grapes back at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You oh, probably Sarah. do have healthy kids, though. They probably, are, right? Yeah, yeah they are. Vegan, just good. They're not vegan. No, it we're took too far. We eat a lot of we eat a lot of meat in yeah. the house. Yeah, it's just clean. They give meat. out meat on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> they give out venison. Yeah, we do. Wait, that would be bars. dope. I would go to that house. I would go to that house. I would go to that house. <laughs> I'd be like, we're gonna Dear make, jerky. we're gonna plan my life around this. I think I'm gonna do that this year. Hey. You we should, should do it. Go bags and let me know. Do, we should do it and set up a camera and film the kids' reaction as they're like. Venison. You should. And then the parents are like, venison. <laughs> this is good. This is a delicacy. <laughs> uh, matadors. Do you have an opinion on matadors, Sarah? <laughs> I don't have an immediate opinion on matadors as a whole. No. Bull fighting. Because um, on the internet, people don't like it. I mean, I, a, no, I would never do it, but I, I don't know why anyone would choose to do it. Did I, you watch it? I wouldn't watch it like as a if you gave me a choice between like that and something else like not for funsies but you're standing outside the arena eating your uh, your corn on the cob with a little bit of that spice on top. Yeah, it looks. Like, what hey, if somebody go got watch... gored with a horn? Yeah, would you be into that? Like for I mean, sure, not, if it was on the bill, I'm it was into like, it. Happen? Like, am I? Is it a kink of mine? No. 
<laughs> would I watch a video? Yes. Dave, would would you or have you seen it? Have you have you experienced it? Uh, oh. I would love. I have. I would love to watch a matador get hurt. That's what I love. It's a wow. fine, I got a story for you. It's a. It's a fine tradition of people getting hurt for messing with bull. I also enjoy the running of the bulls when people get hurt. I'm. I'm always rooting for the bull. Yes. Mm-hmm. In all the Why not? I think Why so. root for the person? Mm-hmm. There's enough of them. So Alejandro <laughs> is a matador. Actually, I think he's a son of a prestigious matador. Like a, a celebrity, almost like a Dale Earnhardt Jr. There's no kind celebrity of matadors. Of matador. That's not your culture. In Spain. Angela. In what Spain, happened? it's very exciting. Dale, what happened to the Dale Earnhardt? <laughs> you know what? Let's just play the... Do we have the clip? Yeah, we do. Let's play the clip. Uh-oh. times when did they change to pink i thought it was red i think it's a barbie thing right no it's traditionally <laughs> pink oh is well it? then why is I it like it was always red. famously red can we take this off so just imagine I didn't mean what's it. happening oh no. oh no he's walking after that Mm, very sorely. Supposedly. Well, he didn't really mind. <laughs> Turns out. You can tell by the outfit. Yeah. Totally fine. He's got the wow. horns. I think he recovered. Yeah. He's like, this is just a typical Tuesday for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is Oof. what he's in the sport for. <laughs> Can you imagine putting that costume on that is that bedazzled <laughs> all day to be like, an animal might hurt me in this. <laughs> I'm going to fight. While you put a bull. I'm I'm dressed like Lord of the Dance, and I'm going to be killed by a bull. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Flatley. Yeah. This is my life's passion. <laughs> I shoot the little sticks to, at it. I have to. I have to taunt a one-ton animal. Because <laughs> it's tradition. Dressed like, dressed like a Spanish Peter Pan, <laughs> <laughs> waving a pink flag. Yeah. I, think, because, I didn't know they were still doing yeah, it. Because I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint my father, the <laughs> Dale Earnhardt <laughs> of the Matador culture. Yes. Of Matadorian, yeah, <laughs> Matador. Is that a Star Wars character? I don't know. Matador, probably, yeah. Almost. The Matador. It is, the it is in twenty twenty three. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course. In any remake, <laughs> they've got to be running out of ideas. No They're Matadorian. just like throwing out all of these little Star Wars ideas and like, oh, we have no more names. There's no other combinations of vowels that make sense. So, so the, okay. So I have a question then. So the Matador. Yeah. Obviously people watch it. So like w- they know you're going to, like they want you to get hurt, right? They're rooting for you to get hurt. So. Much is, like NASCAR. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> is that any different than NASCAR? No, that's why he's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. It's like yeah. hockey. The yeah, best thing that perfect. could happen. It was exactly. a great analogy. That was yeah. great, Gary. I was watching a, a, a drag I think you're race. right. It is, it is though, probably for slightly less stupid people. <laughs> less kidding. stupid. I'm Cultured joking. stupid people. Yes. Just people because the guy's not, the guy's not covered in Tide stickers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how they can modernize okay. it, though. Home Depot? Don't they they could. Advertise to their people. Home Depot. Yeah, I like that. Makes sense. That's true. He, he, if he says something, if he says something racist, they're not know. all upset. Huh. You you think they don't have Home Depots in Spain, Angela? I'm just saying Jeez. the Mexican oh, thing is not a don't. Spain thing. It's called Casa Depot. Every, yeah. Casa Depot. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. They've got to have they have to have Home Depots down there. They right? do it all themselves. Yeah. Casa Depot. <laughs> And don't you forget it. <laughs> Damn it. We're hard workers. There, yeah. it's like white guys you, you lined tell, up outside. You tell them, Gonzalez. <laughs> tell them what time it is. There's you are a do-it-yourself kind of people. That's right. Hard workers are okay. So yeah. also, if you need your uh, any roofs checked, worked on, call my uncle. He'll help you out. Really? No, no not really. Enrico oh, Gonzalez. I have shingles. <laughs> the shingles have flown off. It's a different kind of shingles. I bet you have, bet you have $1,000. There's a level I thought of he was truth a doctor. to that. <laughs> Somebody close. Somebody close down the line. In proximity, not relation. Angela, have you ever been catfish? Yeah. Why did you ask me that? How did you know? Oh, no. I was trying to make a... I actually have. Segway. Wait, for real? Yeah. What happened? It's just brought up like painful memories, it sounds like. Dude. She just got frozen. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> So the guy I was talking to you before my husband, yes, 
was a catfish. Wait, he was a catfish? Yeah. Look like at a him. man fish? <laughs> it was a half man, half fish. <laughs> The bottom half was fish. Oh, oh no. Is he spiky? What can you do with that? You know, if you grab catfish wrong, they'll sting you. Yeah. Was he stinging? Similar. It was similar, yeah. Oof. What kind of thing? No. When I know it. <laughs> well, what a strange... Dave, I'm still mad at you for doing that. That was a really cruel Look, joke. Look, I'm sorry. I just wanted you to think that I was a matador. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. No, I've never been catfish. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm going to break the... <laughs> I, I was excited for like that a story. Little I'm sorry. Here. You broke it. Matt, Matt has. It's just he dated these girls and they turned out to be completely different people than he yeah. thought they were. Yeah, they, I was catfished <laughs> in real life. <laughs> like mentally catfished? Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's not just were, dating. That's fair. No, I was dating though, yeah. That was. You know. present your best know. self first and then you're like slowly scale it back. Well, no, I've just had <laughs> situations where like... <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll, I'd offer to drop a girl off at her house, and she says, you can let me off here, and walks down the block. <laughs> She's like, I don't want you to know where I live. <laughs> oh, I want you to know. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but but I, I will. He dated a girl <laughs> <laughs> who was basically thought she was Susan Sarandon in Dead Man Walking and was convinced that a guy who was clearly guilty was innocent and kept visiting him in jail. And it was like... We watched a documentary, and the documentary wasn't about how he was innocent. It was just all about It was about, about how, how he, he was caught. <laughs> yeah. <it> was, <laughs> they're, like, lining up evidence, like, this a, is for sure. Yeah. There wow. was one signature to get him out of jail. I'm sorry, there was two. Well, he, three. His, his mom's, and, and then the, the girl you were dating. <laughs> wow. He made it. Th he got caught because he made a tacit confession over the phone, too. He says, uh, yes. so Garrett, if I said to you, like, why did you kill somebody? What would you tell me? Oh, well, uh, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't say we don't need to talk about this right now. <laughs> that wouldn't be the. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me those and I'm kinds only of questions. Saying this because I love Matt and I hated her so much <laughs> that I just want to point it out. The saddest part that... about this is that's not the story I thought you were going to bring up. <laughs> I was there like, were, oh, here. It's true. There were others. I forgot there were others. <laughs> no, that one was just the wow. most humorous because it's like, well, I'd like to go see you, but I have to go talk to a, to a murderer's to mother. Talk to a killer in Missouri. <laughs> wasn't wasn't a journalist trying to write a story? Just an interest. Oh, no, no, Paula Zahn no, no. had written it already. It was on her show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had already written it when it was Why in Newsweek. <laughs> As a where, pen pal. Where did you meet her? It was, I met her at a comedy club. She was a waitress, <laughs> obviously. That's the first mistake no, right there, Red too. flags. Where you meet old balanced women. <laughs> I used to be a waitress at a comedy club. <laughs> That's where you catfish. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so, uh, well, speaking uh, well, of catfish, well, uh, since I, I asked the question. It's my understanding that uh, she was murdered during a conjugal visit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's a joke or not. <laughs> It's probably not. It's probably I'm not. not either. Oh, no. She's alive and terrible. <laughs> oh. Well, that's too bad. Fan of the show. Anyway. Hit the like button. Oh, I promise not. Comment if that's you. We want to know. A Kentucky woman was catfished because she thought she was having a conversation and a relationship with the guy from Stranger Things. Dacre Montgomery. Which, which guy is that? He's the guy that was the, like the hot older brother of oh, the redhead okay. guy. Bad guy. Okay, yeah. The one oh, that you yeah, want yeah. to be careful. She, right, she met right, him on a, right. on a forum for creatives, DeviantArt. We know it's DeviantArt. It's DeviantArt? It's got yeah, it. An no, actor's not, not on a forum for DeviantArt. creatives, all right? He's just not. IMDb message boards for strangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, he's actually in here. He wants me to send $10,000 to him? Okay. We're in a relationship. She also broke up with her husband for Montgomery. <gasps> Yeah. Without yeah. meeting him? No. Yeah. yeah she didn't Sight him. unseen. It's, it's 2023. Oh, no. I am obsessed with Stranger Things. You thought that but guy wanted to have sex is, with you? When I tallied it all up, it was 10000 ish dollars. I told my ex-husband, I said, listen, I said, it's not working out. I said, you're not letting me be me. You're not letting me be free. I said, I think you need to leave. So he left. Within two months, he was gone. What a catch. Oh. Catch 22. What a bitch. Catch 22. That's, it's like, that's a catch 44. 
There's a lot I mean, to unpack I, there. Yes. Well, it's I get it, though. It's I get it, though. Come on. She's a hot piece of ace. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can see why a Hollywood movie star would be mm. like, look, mm-hmm. if you leave that guy yours. I loved your fan fiction yeah. of Twilight. By it the way. Yeah. The best thing I've ever read. I need 50 bucks. <laughs> you wire that to me. I'm an actor. Yeah. It's a, I'm on strike. Strike. So, you know, yeah. I'm on strike. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, if you makes sense. could just send me some money <laughs> once I get... <laughs> More money myself from acting will get you some extra moles. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe spring for some extras. Don't maybe somehow an, an extra roll in, <laughs> roll in the back of your neck. <laughs> Dave, did you see her at Fat Camp? I did. That's how I know her. Uh, really? That's where she taped the yeah. interview. Yeah, I've I've been telling I've been telling her that I'm a cast member <laughs> from Glee. That's okay. Tell, Go ahead. I've been telling her that the cast member from Glee that killed himself. <laughs> if that's true, I don't even know if that happened, but that I'm did. willing to bet it did. It oh, did it? it? Yeah. See, there's a wild I don't guess. Follow Glee. Of course I would just did. assume if you were on that show, you would probably want to kill yourself. Well, you nailed it. <laughs> that so, you're a sorry pedophile. to the fans. Yeah, wasn't that's it? Terrible. There's another guy that was a terrible. pedophile, and he killed himself in prison, or no? I would assume somebody else did. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Lord's the work. other one overdosed. Oh, that's uh, right. That's right. The glee lore. Oh, see, sad. That's the sad. Glee lore. It wasn't very gleeful. So <sighs> she got sad. she got catfished, but like she's not the victim here. Her husband is the victim. Yes. Yeah, the true victim. Yeah, no, she she's she not did a this victim. to herself. Yeah, that is it's, so messed up. You're like random people. Don't do that. I I met a celebrity online. I don't, you're not letting me be me anymore. I'm just going to divorce you. What a bitch. What is you? What I've you, been what is texting you? with him and not, and he's been sending me press photos. It's the guy. <laughs> it's 2023. If they won't FaceTime, you're being catfished. That's it. Yeah. Look, there's a million opportunities to do that on your phone. You could do it from anywhere in the world. That's on you. I'm sorry. Yeah, but, it has um, the watermark in the picture. You're like, yeah, I'm just sending <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland eight bucks. That's TMZ on it. Getty, Apparently, Getty, he was sending her poems. Getty photos. <laughs> Getty images. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was like a stamp of approval. I thought that was for real. <laughs> What are you saying, Angel? I'm just saying that apparently he was sending her poems, and I would just love to know oh, what those poems Can we poems read those poems? Oh. Those are private. Release the poems. Hashtag release, release the poems. poems. So I think I love you, honey. Could you please send me some money? <laughs> it's like yes. Let's say I that will. you were stupid enough to let this happen to you. Why yeah. would you then make a video telling the whole world that you were stupid enough to let this happen to you? Monetization. You're down 10K. Yeah. <laughs> Who in the Honestly, world would donate to that? Your victim oh. mentality, thinking that people are gonna yeah, go, yeah, that- poor her. Sorry, Matt, go ahead. Well, no, just somebody who's that stupid is yeah. stupid enough to think this could happen to anybody. That's true. She's on the internet, <laughs> yeah. Sarah. You know. That's, that's uh, fair. People will give point. her money. True, though, it is sad that, though, somebody does think that, that they're like, well, I think everybody can relate to mailing a multimillionaire money and then turning out. <laughs> I thought Steve Urkel was my best friend. Turns out it wasn't. We were telling you yeah. that wasn't him. Really? I thought it was really him. I thought it was, it was like, do you have the cheese? I, and I was like, I have a cheese. I can give you cheese. <laughs> I sent him cheese. I was a pen pal with who I thought was Patrick Duffy for a long time. In the <laughs> See, 90s. it's so relatable. <laughs> and then I was molested by a guy who I who looked in, a lot like Patrick Duffy. <laughs> so it's not all bad. Yeah, that's a win-win. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> the worst day of my life. <laughs> Could be worse. Wasn't even wasn't even bad. <laughs> hey, speaking of old pedophiles, bucks. they yeah. cost you eighty bucks. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Pay up the check. Come on." I paid for an autograph picture after. After. <laughs> Autographed in what? After, it. after he X. cleaned off my back. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot yeah. we have guests on the show. Speaking of anyway, off back, <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> Uh, we we don't usually talk about Joe Biden, you know, it's just a little tiring, but we thought this one was egregious, so let's roll the clip. And I want to say one thing to your children. I know some really great ice cream places around here, <laughs> and daddy owes you. Yeah. So talk to me afterwards. Folks, thanks. Hmm. 
Mm-mm. Self-awareness. Mm. Sarah, what do you think Not about there. the... Is your daddy? Mm-mm. I think he Mm-mm. thought he was talking to his daughter after a shower. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> your daddy owes you. Let's go get some ice cream. Well, the problem is like, you, you know his handlers. Sorry. You know his handlers are like, stop talking to the kids. <laughs> stop sniffing so. the kids. Stop talking about ice cream with the kids. Like, stop referring to kids. And it's just that his brain can't hold on to that for long enough to actually stop doing it. It's a compulsion. Yeah. To talk about it. It was so weird. And like, I'm going to talk directly to uh, the kids. Why is Worf from Star Trek standing behind him? (laughs) (laughs) Can we go back to it? Can you just play that again? I'm just concerned. And I want to say one thing to your children. (laughs) Oh, God. And is the mud tongue cut challenge? Yeah. Fight me to the death. Is that even the space well, costume the and everything? It's all there. Yeah, yeah, is that the demon that tells him to touch kids <laughs> 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 over his shoulder, <laughs> hanging out with him? Ice cream. You, you wanna? Yeah, I don't understand. You're right though, Sarah. Like that's it's gotta be at this point where they're like, please <laughs> stop talking about ice cream, candy, kids. Just stop bringing it up. <laughs> Your son's a monster. We know you didn't do well. Ashley's accused you of stuff. You're terrible at your job. We just found out that the idiot who tweets for you can't even switch accounts properly. <laughs> Damn. What? What is the? Why does he do this? It's such a clear problem he has, and he has had since he was in the election. Why have they not corrected this? He's trying to do that Obama thing where he like appears relatable. I'm like, oh, I'm the an people uncle. love the ice cream. The kids love the ice cream. Yeah, that's the only relatable people you're going to reach with ice cream. And that's, well, I mean, that's, that's what he, from his brain. That's what I'm saying. That's I'm, what he's wanting. I'm not saying it's accurate. Trying to get the, <laughs> to get the ice cream. That's, oof. I, I think that's all he can think about is soft. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Frozen. Camp internet. There's not good. Soft fruities. Did I cut out? You there you are. Right in the middle. You're, you're back. It's a character bit. Did I come back? What I said was, I think all he can think about is soft foods and stuff that he's <laughs> able to eat. <laughs> Apple sauces, ice creams. Pudding. Puddings. Yep. Yep. Yeah, things that he's able to digest. I called it digest. <laughs> At fat camp? Mm. That's, That's what, what they thinking say. About. Yeah. What do you eat at fat camp? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, a lot it's of like celery. Soups. I was a, I can have ants on a log with low-fat peanut butter. <laughs> that's it um, I, we can have soups but I'm not allowed to have noodles in the soups I can only have grilled chicken mm, oh, that's carbs, carbs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. and then we can have s'mores but we can't use graham crackers or marshmallow <laughs> what about chocolate no <laughs> it's, it's just it's just the stick <laughs> mm. But we can pretend it's s'mores. <laughs> it's imagination time. S'mores time. And then a guy with diabetes who's lost his feet tells us ghost stories about his feet. <laughs> and about how when we sleep in our bunks, you can hear them pitter-patter outside. <laughs> he ate one too many I Twinkies. hope the blaze is happy. This is costing them upwards of $30,000. Of that's scary. Where in the world is this? But a this guy who camp? looks like Keenan Tom. I'm sorry. So it w- <laughs> a guy who looks like Keenan Thompson went and got me some puddings. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out for him though. Uh, He's super skinny now. Have you seen him? He looked weird. Yeah. Well, you, have you seen the, the movie right. Heavyweights? It's it's based on that. Um, <laughs> I uh, it's in, an, in it's not in a, a place I'm allowed to say. Okay. Oh. Hawaii. It's in it's in it's it's in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But it's not in the smokiest part. That's good. Because that would remind you of like ham. smoked meat. Mm. Yeah, um. like it. People are like, if you you don't want to smell burnt food. <laughs> <laughs> I so, didn't start so, this. So the, uh, <laughs> the the wildfires <laughs> in Hawaii is a thing. It's happened. Feel very sad. A lot of people. That die. is very sad for real. No, I mean, yeah, you're, no. of course, uh, it is joking. Started. And I am on. I'm on Waikiki. Oh well, you're like a neighbor, basically. 
I don't even know if that's a real island. It is. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> They're okay, though. <laughs> Did you know that... Oh, I didn't know this until we read the story that I'm Oprah in North has... Dakota. Because, <laughs> listen, I'm in North Dakota because if I run, they can see me. <laughs> no matter where I go, they can see me. I can't get away. They There's no get... trees. There's no happiness. <laughs> They can spot me for an hour, <laughs> and they will use guns, and not no problem, not like bullet guns, but they use a pellet gun. Why the why the choice of the pellet gun? Like with riots. Okay. I don't know. They said you're fat. You'll fall. <laughs> What's well, not going to break the surface? Too. You get winded after a quarter mile at best. Mm. Yeah, you're not going to go fine. too far. No, there's like skeletons that are maybe <laughs> maybe a half a mile from the camp. They just so leave hot. them there. Yeah, Sexy they leave skeletons. them there to be an example. Yeah, it's a sign for the next fat kid. It's just a skeleton. You lose some weight. Lose some weight. There's yeah. really fat vultures in a six XL Marvel shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like blowing in the wind. <laughs> So many goth bands. <laughs> it's just Crocs strewn everywhere. An abandoned uh, rascal scooter. Yeah, just a corn shirt. <laughs> and a... Like the food? <laughs> no, 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 not the, corn. They would eat corn. Not at all. K O R N. They'd be back in K O R N. <laughs> Extra wide converse with anarchy written on them. The vulture got strangled by the chain wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck on the studs. Yeah. Fingerless gloves. <laughs> Wristbands. We're just naming emo things now. Hmm. Hair dye. Well, let's admit it. They're not all fat. Not all fat. Well, yeah. The other ones are anorexic. That's true. The Many way. of them. Many of them do. Either which imagine, way it causes acne. I would imagine that the fat camp should have like another wing that's just for anorexics. So it's like the we opposite don't use the problem. word. We don't. We don't use the word wing. Wing sounds good. Oh, like a buffalo. Yeah, we call it section. Mm. Even that wing though is... could be like a, a cake section of a cake. Yeah, cake. wing. That too. Well, section doesn't. No, section isn't appetizing. But you say wing, there's a stampede, <laughs> <laughs> and we do call it a stampede. Yeah. Speaking of stampedes, uh, what's Oprah yeah. doing with them? <laughs> I've given up trying to segue to that. <laughs> I know, hey, look, I kept she had <laughs> look, she has story. a lot of acres on on uh, what is it, Maui, mm -hmm. and there was a fire oh, Oprah's there. Oprah's here. Well, she has land in Maui, though. She wouldn't go. That's why there. we should care about it. She wouldn't go there, man. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's on fire. Didn't you see all the news? Yeah. She did go there. Oh, she did. She Don't brought pillows and stuff. Life. She brought pillows. Yeah. Pillows? What is that going to do? That's <laughs> Tinder. She's trying to start more fires. <laughs> she said she, she said she's going to give a lot of money. <laughs> okay. She brought dry pine needles. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, Look, what are the pillows going to do? I don't know. They don't have a bed. What are you going to do with a pillow? Oh, they're starting in a weird spot. <laughs> start with a cot. Right. And then a pillow. She's just throwing out pillows. Why would you do that? Anyway, so on the internet, people have taken and like, hey, why are these, these fires are kind of weird. Why did they get started? Oprah Winfrey, obviously, because she owns land there and her land didn't get burned. And oh. in the past, her land hasn't gotten burned either, which is kind of this weird. This is like it's a like multiple Satan case. Magic. <laughs> she is a demon. Allegedly. Wow. Sarah, is she a lizard person? Yeah, Absolutely. I already thought that. And then, and you just blew my mind with that because I didn't know that. In 2017, an extremely deadly fire destroyed many homes near her Montecito mansion, but her property remained untouched. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what is the likelihood of all of that happening? That's weird. That's really weird. Sun, that's uncanny. <laughs> I don't like that. Wow. Yeah. I, so, I buy into that conspiracy. It, apparently, like, this year, she bought a bunch of new land in that area oh did she yeah so it's like <laughs> hey look my neighbors are you know they're around and i don't like them <laughs> you like some pillows there's like a there's a, a surveillance video of oprah going out there with a blowtorch just like setting fire <laughs> to oprah. all of her neighbors she's not giving that to somebody else 
She's like, no, nah, I'm she's doing it. No, it's yeah, from yeah. her mouth. <laughs> doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like 50 feet tall. I don't know. That's weird. It's a whole Hawaii thing. They did test out there. That's how they made Godzilla. This is a, like, uh, so on the internet, they thought it was her. It? I mean, you need more. You always need more. If you got a thousand Land? acres. Yeah. Yeah. It's another I'm, five. If I'm, if I'm acres. rich like Oprah, I'm, I don't want to stop. I just want to acquire all the land. You start to run out of things to buy. You'd be like, I'll just buy more of the things I already have. Yeah. Like Bill Gates. I, yeah. I want the whole island. I'd like everybody's souls. Can I do that? <laughs> yeah. Dear Oprah, yes, you, you can, can do Oprah. that. Yeah. I forgot Oprah's name she, earlier today, which is not too outrageous for me to do. Really? Uh, no. Wow. So weird. Uh, and I was like, wait. wait. Yeah, it is the a most weird. <laughs> the most notable it's just that one in the last thirty years. <laughs> it's not that it's weird. One it's name. not nineteen ninety two. Yeah, that's Oprah. Yeah, she it's was in that Oprah. movie about the slaves. Wait, was she the color purple? <laughs> I don't know. Slaves. The, yeah, the machine, I don't know. If that was, <laughs> I just assumed like, it looked like slavery. it was in the past. And there's black people. It's usually a slave story. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just yeah. shooting in the dark. He is quarter black, so he can make that. He yeah. can make that statement. It's like roots. It's not, it's not racist. Or purple. Yeah. Boys in the hood. I feel like All he's done okay. more to not learn about his heritage than anyone I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Actively not We did researched. that rap video and it was like. It was brutal. Dude. <laughs> I can't rap at all. I can do some R&B though. I feel like if we did R&B song. Oh, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Not right now. Like not some boys to men kind of. Yeah. Sound? Boys right. to men. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. You mean like Teddy Pendergrass? Did I? I threw it now, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, QB. I didn't. I, didn't I, was, mean to... no, I was waiting for the single. Just the angry of like, man, I don't, I don't know. know who you're talking about. Pend Pendergrass, very yeah, white. he's a classic, you're like, very you're like, well known, beautiful voice, very, uh, very Baritone. black man. Okay, Deadpool. All right, he's back. Here <laughs> yeah, we, got we got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, good, he's here. All right, thank God. Okay. You know what could get me back into this conversation? Chess, because I'm a nerd. I was in chess club. I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> this doesn't... Is this to get your black card back? <laughs> no, I've already given that up. Just, I'm going further into the white. Into, just toss that into the Oprah fire. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's trans news. Just that play her body count. <laughs> The International Chess Federation ruled that transgender women cannot compete in women's events until they have compete, completed a gender assignment with officials. Assessment. Is that, what the, is that the word? Yes. A gender assessment <laughs> with competition officials. It was close. But what is Look, I'm just going to the ball, ballpark. That's all you can get. So why is it chess? Let's see that pussy. Is what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, the only way we can lift get up your skirt, ladies. Down there. Oh, there's a lot of sausages. I take you're, it back. I see a bulge, Michelle Obama. <laughs> you're the woman now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> organization said it's fine organizing players' gender identity. Wait, recognizing. recognizing. Oh, God, I can't read. Uh, recognizing people's gender identity as long as they have been legally confirmed by national authorities. So, I mean, it's it's not out of character for the chess club to be autistic about these but things. But what does that mean? Yeah. They want the authorities to confirm. Hey, leave what me out of this. I don't what give are, a fuck about the, chess. The, the, the international authorities. You, you know? don't? No, I'm not even a authority? little. I feel like you could beat a computer. I don't know about the gender <laughs> I don't remember. So we were talking about that, me and Lily, and she said that she thought it was more of a men's sport, chess. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, I remember a lot of girls being in chess club because I was literally in chess club. That's but so then cute. when I thought about it, I don't think they ever were in the competitions because, yes, I went to competitions. Well, you, well we all remember they were all Mrs. Girls. Bobby Fisher. Yeah. <laughs> well, now he's changed. He's like Bruce Jenner. So Did he switch? No. Did he really? Bruce Jenner? No, not Bruce. Bobby Fisher. <laughs> what? No. Is no. Bobby I think, Fisher I think trans? He's, did he die? <laughs> Wait, is he trans or dead? I thought he was dead. Is he dead? Either way, what? he's dead to me. <laughs> There's a 41% chance he's dead. Yeah. It's a joke. 
Well, I did read that. Dead. I did read that. Um, oh, he's okay. dead. That Sorry. they that they started this women's competition event because they were trying to draw more women to chess. No, so the whole reason was, around it. Yeah, because it was a men dominated sport. So naturally, Men. naturally, now we have. Yeah. Yeah. Guys are Is trying it, to sign up. Yeah. Now, Garrett, when you were in chess club and getting all that tang. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you feel that, was a king. that there needed to be more women in it? Really? Uh, I think having women not be there is the best scenario. It's mm. embarrassing. <laughs> but just not having them around. How many people were in your chess club anyway? There was like a good like 30 people. 30 wow. people. Really? Yeah. But not when you go to a competition. When you go to a competition, it's like 10. Okay. The best eight, of the eight best. Eighth in the oh, state. So, baby okay. right here, wow. dog. That's why I got four kids. It's all that chess. You know? So, so there's 20 people who are just the nerds of the nerds. Then, yes, it's like the, it's filtered down. Oh, just God. the worst. I made the kids cry. Really? Yeah. Because you beat them. Good for you. Yeah. Wow. Only a couple times. I felt really bad about it though. It, Did it you? Shows. I tried to teach him. <laughs> Did you? Well, it's funny now. Now that I'm not like 11, he cried and then he was pointing at his family like that kid. He beat me. But I'd always sit him down and best. I'd show him how I did it. God, good. really? I'd like I do it like this, like watch out for that kind of thing. Walk him. Oh, did you just did you look at him and be like, sweet. you and just grab the again. back of his head and you're like, you are nothing. That's how I beat you. <laughs> just stand over him, <laughs> like a dog that's just urinated on the carpet. Yeah, rub its nose well, in look, it. Look at what you did. <laughs> you let the clock you run out. You're proud of yourself. You're, yeah, you you're make a smart yourself. dude. Man. Yeah, make that nerd. Anybody. Sad. Now the high school has a metal yeah. detector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably in hindsight, not the best strategy. Mm. Not a good play. Yeah, that, that guy's name was Dylan Klebold. <laughs> <laughs> and that was trans news. Play it. And then you play the clip. Oh, oh, hey, look, we're working on it. It's okay. We're, we're going to work out the kinks like that. Uh, it'll be all good. Hey, Sarah, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Where can the people find you? Oh, the people can find me uh, all over social media at Sarah Gonzalez TX and um, on YouTube as well. The news and why it matters with Sarah Gonzalez. You can just just start searching the term because that's really long. It'll come out. Yeah. It'll, You're it'll, the it'll only show up. with that name. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll pop up. I'm, I'm confident of it. Very descriptive. Oh, now, it'll pop up. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll pop up. All oh. right. <laughs> oh. Angela. Sorry. I just I've seen the comments and I know it'll pop up. Oh, <laughs> it's already popped up. They're, it, they're already popping up. Right now. All right. Matt, Dave, mm -hmm. where can we find you? Dave and I will be at Zany's Comedy Club in Rosemont, Illinois on August 18th and 19th. Thank you so much What's for up? being in here, Matt, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah. You're not not somewhere else in a fat camp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really pre Hey, Dave. Um, I'm going to be locked in here until tomorrow. Um, well, if they weigh me, I might have to kill a guard. <laughs> but um, after that, I'm going to uh, be at Zany's with Matt, and then I'm going to be at the Denver Improv at the end of the month with uh, Mike Loftus and Joe DeVito, a couple of comedians. But, of course, I'm going to be back there next week, and I appreciate uh, you guys understanding that uh, I'm a little meatier than you. I understand. <laughs> It is, it's it's a tough life, man. It's a hard nut life. You can find me on no, you're, Friday you're Night Tights. good. Oh, don't lie to me. <laughs> you have been. Keep oh, lying. dude, you've Keep lost lying. any okay. weight. That's, you're gorgeous. I, 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 w I wish I could lose weight like you. <laughs> okay, you're fucking completely lying to me. You can find me on Friday Night Tights on Nerdrotic <laughs> Channel tomorrow, tomorrow, and on my channel on Sundays, and on Adam Krigler's channel, Base Staff Mondays, with a bunch of people. Flawed. If you like Flawed, go watch the show. Thank you, everybody. See you later. Love you, Dave. I love you.